Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this bow. Let's open a new document. Here is the color group I will be using today. Let's turn the stroke to none and the fill to light pink. Next, press the letter L for the ellipse tool and draw an oval. Press the Shift and C keys on your keyboard to switch to the Anchor Point tool and click on this anchor point to create a sharp corner. Now, using a drawing tool of your choice, adjust the anchor points to create the inner part of the bow that will look similar to this shape. Next, with the shape selected, go to Object, Path and choose Offset Path. Change the offset to about negative 5 and then click OK. And we have two shapes. With the offsetted shape still selected, go to Swatches and add a gradient swatch. Here are the colors I'm using. It is a simple gradient made of a few shades of red. Be sure to set the type to radial. Let's adjust the gradient to create a soft shadow. Next, we will create a sharp shadow. With the inner part still selected, press the Ctrl and C keys on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl F to paste it in front. Now move the copied shape down to overlap with the bottom shape. Select the inner part again and make another copy. With the copied shape still selected, hold down the Shift key and select the bottom shape as well. Then go to Pathfinder and choose Minus Front. And here is our shadow shape. Let's change its color to dark red and if you wish, turn its opacity down to about 50%. Now select the pink shape and copy it to the back. Press the Ctrl and C keys on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl B to paste it to the back. I'm going to change the fill of this new shape to green so it is easier to see what we are doing. Now with the green shape still selected, use the pen tool or the curvature tool and pull out some of the anchor points to create the top part of the bow that will look like this. Make sure to match these anchor points on the side. Let's move the bottom anchor points up so there is no green color visible on this side. Select the top part and let's add a gradient to it. Mix several different shades of red and set the type to linear. Make sure to use the right angle. Use the lighter color to emphasize the influence of the light. If you need to adjust the brightness or saturation, double click on one of the color stops. To open the dialog box, click on this icon in the upper right corner and use the HSB option. Now adjust the sliders. Let's select everything and group it together. Now create a copy and move it up. Press the letter R for the Rotate tool, move the rotation point here and drag the mouse up. Next we'll adjust the top shape. First let's ungroup it and delete the inner shapes. Now adjust the pink shape. And let's do the same with the top part. I'm going to speed up this part, but you should take as much time as you need. Let's create the inner shadow using the same method like we did previously. First select the pink shape. 
go to object path offset path leave the offset as it is and click ok switch to the eyedropper tool and with the pink shape still selected click on the bottom shape to get the same color gradient now create a copy of this shape let's change the fill to dark red now move it down select both shapes go to pathfinder and choose minus front change the fill to dark red and lower the opacity to 50 percent select the soft shadow and adjust the gradient Now select the top part and adjust this gradient as well. Next we'll create one more shadow under the upper part of the ribbon. First select the top shape and let's copy it to the back. I'm going to change its fur to yellow. Next, select the Rotate tool and click here to set the rotation point. Let's drag the yellow shape down. Now adjust the shape to form a shadow. When you are done, change the fill to dark red and turn down the opacity. Next, we'll create the other side of our bow. First, select everything and group it together. Now press the letter O for the Reflect tool and click here to set the reflection point. Next, click, hold and drag to make a copy. While you are dragging your mouse, hold down the Shift and Alt keys as well. Let's select everything and group it together. Next, we'll draw a nut. Let's create a new layer and lock layer 1. Change the fill to dark red and select one of the drawing tools. Now draw a shape that resembles a nut. Be creative and take your time. When you are finished, apply a radial gradient. Now select this shape and let's copy it to the back. Apply a different color and move some of the anchor points to the side. Finally change the fill to light pink. In the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to create these ribbons. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.